Hi there. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. Also, thanks for asking. So, I saw in my books that you are here for an ear candling appointment. Is that correct? Okay. And what brought you in to do the ear candling today? Anything in particular? Or just wanting to try something different? Okay. So you heard about it from a friend. Okay, so a little bit of sinus pressure. Alright. And is this your first experience with ear candling? Have you done it before? Um, have you known anyone that's done it or know about the process at all? Okay, great. Well, since it's your first time, I'll just kind of explain the process a little bit. Um, then we'll sort of give your ears a little check, and if everything looks good, uh, we'll go ahead and start the process. And then I'll explain a little more uh, about the ear candling and the history and that type of thing. Does that sound all right? Okay. Um, well, first things first, we'll talk about the ear candle. Um, it just looks something like this if you've never seen one. Well, it looks exactly like this. <laughs> this is it. It's made out of 100% um, cotton muslin. Um, if you can see, it's kind of a fabric that's rolled around here into a cone shape. Um, and it is dipped in beeswax. Uh, other things are sometimes used, such as paraffin, but we use 100% beeswax here. Um, you can hear it's hard, just like a candle. Uh, but it is, I don't know if you can see that, inside it's hollow. Uh, it's also called ear coning. You may hear that term used. Um, so an ear cone or an ear candle. So what we're actually going to do is we'll take this bowl here. Um, and it's just a pretty normal styrofoam bowl, uh, except that this one has a coating on it, which is fire resistant. And then you can see we also have the tin foil in there just for a little bit of extra protection. So what we'll get you do, or what we'll have you do, rather, is um, lay on your side. We'll get you very comfortable. And I'm actually going to have you uh, place your hand over your ear like this, and you'll be sort of holding the candle in place throughout the treatment. So we'll be placing the candle right through the bowl like this. And you'll be holding it in between your index and your middle finger. Um, and we'll just very gently insert it into the ear canal. Not far down. We don't want any pain um, or anything like that. We do want to make a, a good connection around the candle. But we want to make sure that we're not pressing the end of the candle uh, anywhere into the ear. We want to make sure that we leave that hole open on the end. So, once we get you all situated, we'll actually go ahead and light the end of the candle. And what happens is it creates a process uh, that we call convection, um, which just means the heat at the top of the candle uh, will create um, sort of like a vacuum suction. It'll actually travel, some of the smoke and heat will travel down the cone and into the ear canal. It'll kind of warm everything up in there um, and then it actually starts to sort of suck out whatever is in the ear. Uh, usually it's moistened earwax, uh, pollen, or a buildup of yeast, things like that. Um, and it comes right up into the cone. Uh, some of it gets burned off as the fire continues to burn down, um, and some of it is left inside at the end of the process, right down at the bottom here. Uh, as we go, we'll snip the candle as it burns, and just so you can see what we're doing, 
we just snip it right into a little water dish here. We will also have you draped with one of our towels here, just for extra protection, kind of around your face. Uh, as the candle is burning down, I'll be doing some gentle massaging on the sinuses, um, kind of up around the eye area, kind of this lower jaw and back here in the scalp, kind of the whole area just sort of helps the process and helps uh, move everything along that we want to um, come up into the candle. How's that sounding? It is interesting, isn't it? Um, I don't know if you've done any research on the candling, but there is definitely some controversy surrounding it. Some people, you know, believe that it helps a lot. Some people don't believe in it at all. Um, my personal feeling on things like that is I would always rather try something natural before I do anything else. Um, so my feeling it is to try it, and if you feel like it works for you, you know, then it might be a good therapy for you. Um, if nothing else, if you get nothing else out of the experience, um, you'll be very relaxed. It, it is a very gentle procedure. There's really no harm that can be done as long as you're being very careful with the flame and uh, using the protection around the face. Uh, we'll be monitoring it the whole entire time. Um, so as far as that goes, you know, there's no worries there. It also is going to create um, kind of a crackling sound from the top here. It sounds sort of like um, a fire, if kind of the fire had uh, gone down and you just had some burning embers. Sort of that crackling noise. It's very gentle and actually very relaxing to most people, so I think you'll enjoy it. Does that kind of explain what we're going to do? Okay, that sounds good. Um, so the only other thing that we can do if you'd like to add it is a little bit of uh, sort of an aromatherapy um, along with the ear candling. Um, I've got just a little essential oil mixture here and it's just for um, sort of like a, I guess you would call it a breathing oil. It's great for the sinuses, um, any buildup, it sort of opens up your whole nasal passageway. And it's just a little roller ball, and it's got some great oils in it like eucalyptus and peppermint, um, some lemon, just a lot of things that are really helpful to that nasal area. Okay, you do want to add that? Okay, great. So what we'll do is just kind of um, put that in all the areas that we're going to be massaging. So that nasal area is above the eye, um, and the jaw, and kind of back here, uh, even on the back of the scalp. Okay? Yeah, do you want to smell? Isn't that amazing? You'll be able to smell it right away when we put it on. Set this over here for a minute. Okay. So, First thing first, we need to um, just do a quick visual inspection uh, of the ears. Um, and I did just notice you have a little bit of redness on the side in front of the ear. Is that anything to be concerned about? Okay, just a bug bite. Okay. Well, just to be safe while we do the inspection, I'm just going to put on a pair of gloves just to make sure we don't irritate that any further or anything like that. So I'll first just do a quick visual inspection um, and then I'm going to grab my otoscope and look inside the ears, okay? Okay, 
So if you'll just hold still for me here. Okay. Yeah, just a little redness. Otherwise, everything looks good on that side. Scope here and take a quick peek inside. All right. So I'm just gonna gently pull that earlobe down. want to make sure with that is that we just don't have any um, ear infections present or perforation of the eardrum, any kind of abrasions on the inside, anything like that. Uh, if we did see anything of that nature, we would not want to do the ear candling this time, but that all looks great. And then um, as far as the sinuses go, is it just sort of a gentle like buildup pressure? Um, the only thing we want to make sure is we don't have any sort of major infection going on. Is it just kind of normal allergy? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not noticing any major swelling or anything like that. No, you know, really bad tenderness or pain. Let me put pressure on there. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Go ahead and take my gloves off. What we'll do next is actually get that uh, essential oils sort of all over all of the areas that uh, we're going to put that on. Uh, that'll just help right away immediately start to open up those breathing passageways and get the process started off. Closer here. Um, just want to get it right above those eyes. The other eye. Okay. Down those nasal passages. How does that feel? It almost kind of starts to open up that breathing immediately, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit kind of back on this jawline and that lower scalp area. We'll just 
just massage it in a little bit. Get over on this other side. Lost my lid here. <laughs> Massaged in the other side. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cleanse on my hands. you sort of um, situated on your side. Make sure you're really comfy and then we'll get started with the process, okay? Okay, let's get you turned over on your side. Okay, how is that feeling? Are you comfortable there? Okay, well, let's go ahead and draped first. So I'm just gonna sort of lay this over your face and arrange it back here. Once again, we don't want to feel any pain. Just insert it right into the ear canal. How's that? Does that feel okay? Okay. Good. Make sure to let me know if you're feeling any pain or just uncomfortable about anything, all right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and light the end. that crackling yet. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, but you should be able to hear it shortly if you don't already. Now how is that feeling? Is it feeling comfy? Are you starting to feel the heat? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna warm up my hands quickly. We're gonna start with that massage. Thumbs and just start to move that stuff down. So you're candling. It's actually a very ancient therapy. Um, it's centuries old and it dates back 
all the way to at least 2500 BC and there are actually quite a few cultures that have used it it's been used in Tibet um, it's been used by the Mayans the Egyptians the Chinese uh, and Native Americans so it's used for therapeutic as well as a sort of spiritual and ceremonial purposes I'm gonna go ahead and sort of get back here by an ear So, the big things that it's used for therapeutically, um, especially today, uh, it can help remove excess earwax, and it's been known to help things such as vertigo, lymphatic drainage, um, migraines, sinus pressure, overgrowth of candida, which is just uh, sort of a yeast buildup and it can help even help things such as TMJ syndrome Okay So we've burned down a little and we're gonna get our scissors here cut off the end of the candle So on the spiritual or sort of ritualistic side, um, many cultures believe that it draws out negative energy, also that it could align the chakras and just relieve tension. Yeah, that's actually a great question. Um, it's a therapy that you can do about every six months is kind of a normal range. You don't want to overdo it. We have to remember that the earwax is in there for a specific reason um, and it's to, you know, fight off bacterial infections and things of that nature. So we don't want to be disturbing it more often than every six months. Yeah, that's a great question. I'm gonna go on and cut off a little more of that candle.
go ahead and close your eyes if you want to. I just want you to relax as much as possible. Just a bit of tapping here. So don't loosen anything up. again. We're going to go ahead and cut the candle down once more. And I think we're just about done on this side. We don't want to let the candle burn too far. I'm just gonna place a little drop of this essential oil in this is just eucalyptus oil um, and this is just going to balance the pH inside of the arrow, right? but not pushing too hard on anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that lit. Okay. Go ahead and scissor it a little bit 
massage on this side Feel free to just close your eyes It's a wonderful time to just relax Take a few moments for I'm just going to reach back and do a little bit of massage back behind the scalp again
really good drainage. I really think it's going to help the sinuses. Right out of here. eucalyptus oil. Okay. Go ahead and hold still for me. I'm draped here. Just a really quick check on the ears, just a quick, quick cleanup, okay? I want to make sure, you know, we didn't leave any of that oil sitting or anything like that. Go ahead and come on both sides here. Just want to make sure we got everything out. Sign 
this is feeling pretty good. Okay. I do think we got a little of that tension relieved. Yep, you just had very little swelling, but it feels like it's gone down a bit. So that's perfect. Alright. Well, I think we are all set for today. I'm so glad that you came in and gave this a try. Yeah, definitely recommend it if you think it helps. Um, you'll be able to tell the next, you know, day or two if you feel like it cleared some of that up. And how about the hearing? Does it feel like you're sort of hearing a little bit clearer? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Well, wonderful. Well, I hope you have a great weekend and I hope you come on back. Hopefully we'll see you in six months. Okay. That sounds great. Okay, we'll see you later.